Now, the Ministry of Health and the tobacco industry are locking horns over the use of graphic images as health warnings on the packaging of tobacco products. In a public participation forum earlier today, stakeholders in the sector are now calling on the ministry to apply science in its approach to creating health warnings. Very own Jasmine Wamboy has more. British American Tobacco, the Kenya Bar Owners Association and the Retail Trade Association of Kenya have put up a fierce fight against the use of graphic images such as coffins on the packaging of tobacco products as proposed by the Ministry of Health. We believe that tobacco can also be a very emotive topic and we strongly are recommending to the Ministry of Health to remove the emotion um, out of the discussion and to focus on science and evidence. In a public participation forum organized by the ministry, the difference of opinions and interests were laid bare. The main point of contention being the use of certain graphic images on new smoke-free products such as Velo and e-cigarettes. Industry players say the images proposed for use by the ministry do not take into account the reduced harmful effects of the new generation of nicotine products. So in Matters, vape, electronic pouches, the diagrams were done before those were in the market. So the government should look to first amend the law to be able to address uh, vape and electronic uh, cigarettes through the diagrams that they seek to. And as somebody brought up, you cannot use a smoke diagram to illustrate a non-smoke diagram. Um, the novel nicotine products are less risky in comparison um, to combustible. I'm not saying at all that these novel products are safe. Um, they do carry the risk of addiction. Uh, but given the fact that they have differentiated risk profiles, differentiated science, differentiated usage, that needs to be reflected in regulation. The government maintains that while the views of the industry will be taken into account, its top priority is the protection of consumers. The industry is doing its work. What they are doing is not illegal. But what we are doing in the Ministry of Health and the Tobacco Control Board is to regulate what they do. Even as the market for new smoke-free nicotine products continues to grow, sector players say the government has remained hesitant in developing regulations to accommodate the new products. Um, we have run into regulatory headwinds where the ministry hasn't given us very clear directives in terms of how they want to regulate these products. And this has led to a situation where the industry has had to seize um, the marketing and sale of these products while waiting for guidance from the Minister of Health. But this is taking an inordinate amount of time. Jasmine Wambui, Citizen TV.